Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I am a current junior transfer to UC Berkeley. Uh, this video is a week in the life and I am just here to intro it because I did not intro it this morning. Um, it is currently 2 p.m. Today I got up and, and Monday through Thursday I do have work so I worked on my computer for a little bit. And then I did some ballet on my lunch break, which is something that I really enjoy doing. Don't knock over the camera, don't knock over the camera. And then I ate breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> And now here we are. It's about 2.30 p.m. The reason why I am making this week in my life is not only to continue documenting what it's like to be a transfer student at UC Berkeley and also taking online classes during the summer, but also because this is the week that I find out whether or not UC Berkeley is going to be open in the fall. A news article did just go out on their website saying that with the title of Work From Home to Continue Through January 1st with Exceptions. And basically this article was just saying that most people who can continue to work effectively and efficiently from home should continue to do so, while others should return to campus with the new safety measures. And some students are taking this to mean that the campus is just going to be closed in the fall, but they haven't made an actual official statement to the students yet, so I just wanted to give that update because it's kind of pointing in a particular direction. I also want to document it because it's <sighs> Berkeley is my dream school, and thought of not being able to actually be on campus is really upsetting to me. Obviously, it's more upsetting to me loss of life from the pandemic. Of course, if the campus needs to stay closed, then it should stay closed, but I'll still be upset. Whether or not I'll be moving to Berkeley, however, is another discussion that I don't have enough information to give a full update on, but that is still something that I am thinking about. It's a little bit more complicated and I'll discuss it either in a later weekly vlog or I'll do a whole video about the housing that I'm doing. Just a little bit of an update and I'm sure I will be back to tell you guys more when I know more, but for now I gotta get back to work, so I'll see you guys later. Many hours later. It's here! <laughs> that was way higher pitch than I meant it to be. Oh, hold on, I have to adjust the camera. Okay, so I have been fighting with UPS to get this package. Don't get me started on UPS, we're not gonna talk about it, but um, I actually put in for a hold on this package because I got so fed up with waiting for it to get delivered that I was just gonna go and pick it up, but then they delivered it. So here it is, and I'm gonna open it because I'm so excited. I've been waiting for like two weeks for this package to get here. Finally freaking here. Because see this, the pencil, hi Osa, the pencil was delivered by FedEx a week and a half ago. Can I help you? So now I finally have both of them and just in time for me to create the thumbnail for my video. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am not patient nor skilled enough to film a whole nother video of like a pretty aesthetic unboxing of this, so I'm just gonna unbox it now, and uh, yeah.
Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday because I have class. I just had lunch and my anthropology class begins in half an hour. In the meantime, I am working, playing around with my new toy, and I am very, very excited to take notes on this today. That's basically it. That's been my day today, and this evening I plan on going to the barn so we get to see some horses. Yay! I also want to point out that a new video went live today about my very first time taking a class at UC Berkeley, so I'll put a little card up in the corner so you guys can go and check that out. That's it for now, and I will check back in when my class starts and I'm going to test out writing and taking notes on my new iPad. So I will see you guys later. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm good. My class is over. I had so much fun using my iPad to take notes. I don't like to use the word obsessed very often, but I am obsessed with the iPad. Anyways, I have changed my clothes. Ignore the mess because I'm going to the barn with my mom and we're going to take the big girl with us. So that's what I'm doing and I'll see you guys at the barn. <laughs> my mom rides, I'm gonna take the dog to the paddock to run around. If I haven't told you guys already, we have a Great Dane who is deaf. So since she's deaf, she's never off the leash uh, because it's not safe for her. She can't hear people, dogs, cars. So what we do is that when we go to the barn, there's an empty paddock that is fenced off appropriately and she can run around to her heart's content. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I am back at home now. I filmed so much at the barn that naturally my camera battery is dying. So I'm just gonna go take a shower and finish up my night by finishing some of the reading for class and my lecture notes. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm. Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday. I haven't had the chance to vlog yet. It's about 10 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. I was at the dentist first thing in the morning. I am finally eligible for braces. M my dental history is complicated to say the least. Anyways, I'm just excited about that because I do have gaps in my lower teeth that I want to get rid of. So now I finally can. So that's exciting. And other news, I finally got the email, the one that we've all been waiting for from Carol Christ, the Chancellor of UC Berkeley, information about fall semester. Now I've actually already seen a couple of news articles going around talking about UC Berkeley's plans for the fall semester, but this is like the official one that was sent to students, so let's read it. it says, Dear new and returning undergraduates, we are delighted to share our plans for fall semester with you. 
That sounds hopeful. We have created a set of options for you. Instru instruction slash academics. It is our intention to conduct limited in-person classes this fall for those students who wish to come to campus. The in-person classes will be restricted to a small number of people as dictated by factors including public health guidance and our own building density guidelines. Instruction in large courses will be offered by remote means. However, some smaller discussion groups that are part of larger courses or other activities may be offered in person. We are in the process of determining which courses will have in-person option this fall and will have our course schedule available in July. And that's about it. So really what they're saying is that they have plans for the people who either have to move, they are dependent on the campus housing, or people who choose to move because they want to be in Berkeley, and it looks like there will be some in-person classes slash discussion. And because I'm going in as an upperclassman, I suspect that because my classes are going to be smaller and I will have discussion groups, I will probably end up being in Berkeley, but again, it's still like we have, we haven't come to any conclusion, so that's like the most I can say. <laughs> I am going to make a whole video about like my housing situation for Berkeley because one of the things I was really excited about was to talk about alternative options for housing if you don't want to live on campus because it's super expensive. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later, but I have signed a housing contract. I have until July 3rd to cancel it, but like I said, I still haven't heard back from the cooperatives about what they're doing. So yeah, that's about it for now. That's my update. It doesn't feel like they really committed to opening or doing online. It's kind of this weird middle ground. In between, yeah. It kind of it still feels <coughs> a little like well, am I or am I not, you know? Yeah, because, like, some classes, but we haven't determined. So it sounds like, hey, uh, you got the plan for reopening ready? Oh, I thought that was due next week. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. A little bit, yeah. We'll see. We'll I don't see. Know. Yeah, we'll see. Keep saying that until, like, the day before you leave. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'll be packing my boxes. Yeah, we'll see if I'm going down there or not. Yeah. and work on things. James and I ordered some dinner a little while ago so it should be here soon and I'm gonna eat that and mostly just work on homework and YouTube stuff. That's about it. It's not a very exciting night. So because we're not having a very exciting night and I'm really not doing much else that you guys haven't already seen in the vlog, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here just so I can focus on doing my reading and taking my notes and that kind of stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it is now Thursday. I'm not feeling the greatest so I ended up actually just hanging out in bed and doing work in bed until my computer started to die so I got up. I switched into my ballet clothes in the hopes of doing some ballet, getting some physical exercise. But right now I'm going to grab a cup of tea, hopefully that will help me feel better. That's my dog playing with her food toy. And get back to work today. I only work until 2 and then I have class at 2. So I'm going to get to work now and I'll see you guys later. Many hours later and I have finally done a little bit of ballet. It's almost one o'clock, which means I only have an hour left of work. Um, and I have a little bit of a scheduling issue. I have class from 2 to 3.30, but I have a I have a transfer edge seminar thing scheduled at 3. 
So I'm gonna try and do both meetings at the same time, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty overwhelmed right now with the amount of stuff that's just coming in that I haven't caught up with. So I'm just like letting myself be like, no, right now it's just work and focusing on the things that are immediate and I'm going to try and, which I think I said in my last vlog that I'm playing catch up. I still am. I think I got a little bit in over my head by taking a summer class in the first session rather than what everybody recommended, which was just taking classes during session D. But yeah, I'm gonna go clean up and get dressed and try to feel a little bit more like a normal human being, so. That's it for work, now I gotta do school. The grind never stops. <laughs> you guys in on a little secret. I haven't vlogged in hours. <laughs> Not for lack of things to vlog, but mostly because I was so cranky when I left for the barn that I didn't feel like taking my camera with me and subsequently did not vlog at the barn did not vlog getting ice cream downtown, and did not vlog any of the watching Clone Wars with James. So... <laughs> Come here. Oh, he smells the pizza. Of course he does. You recording? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hello there. On or not. Hey. So, as I was saying, I'm going to finish out the night by trying to edit a vlog that's supposed to go live tomorrow that I haven't edited yet, and go to bed. So that's it for my day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, can I reach the camera from here? <laughs> Happy Friday. I started off the day by being really overwhelmed and stressed out by the amount of stuff that I have to do. For school, it's mostly just like I have an assignment that I don't quite understand and a lot of emails that I have to respond to and my advisor and picking out classes and all that kind of stuff. So I sat down and made a to-do list and instead of doing anything on the to-do list, I'm gonna go to an estate sale. Don't worry, I have a mask, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. And then there's also another one I want to go to next week because they have, they're selling Berkeley merchandise, so of course I have to go. If you're wondering where I get things like my couch and some of the clothes that I have and that kind of stuff, like the de decor in my room, it mostly comes from estate sales and eBay, Craigslist, that kind of stuff because I like to get things cheap and estate sales tend to have the nice things for cheap. So that's what I'm gonna go do. See you guys later.